During Justin Amash's decade in the House of Representatives, he switched parties twice and voted to impeach then-President Trump. Amash also explored his own run at the presidency, but ultimately he decided to leave public office altogether. In part two of our extended interview, he explains why he didn't run for either the White House or re-election to Congress. This is Justin Amash looking back and looking forward. Now they're saying President Trump, President Trump. Do you think he'd still be in Congress if it wasn't for Donald Trump becoming president? That's a tough one to answer. I never planned to serve beyond 10 or 12 years. Before Donald Trump became president, I had already talked to people about uh, leaving the Republican Party. Which he did in a 2019 Independence Day op-ed in the Washington Post. And even perhaps not running for Congress. He says it was the breakdown of the legislative process that drove him away. I'm a, a lawyer at heart, in a sense. I went to Congress so I could actually read legislation and work on legislation. And when that aspect of Congress was totally taken away, I started to think about my kids and my family and said, what am I doing here? Amash acknowledges, however, that Trump and Trumpism may have accelerated his decision to leave. Because then you had a total breakdown. I mean, the people I thought I knew became totally different people. Yeah. So um, it, it was a tough last several years. Um, and I don't know that I would have stayed um, even if Donald Trump had not become president. And I can tell you, if they don't fix the way the legislative process works, uh, people are going to continue to feel this way. People who actually want to legislate are going to continue to feel this way. And the people you're going to attract to Congress are the people who are entertainers, are, who are actors. You're going to attract those people and you're going to send away the people who actually want to legislate. Before he left Congress, Amash briefly explored running for the Libertarian nomination for president. Why did that not move forward? Was that due mostly in part to the pandemic? That was a large part of it, yeah. But before that, it again involved Donald Trump. The historic Senate impeachment trial of President Trump. Because I wasn't interested in being the guy running for president on an impeachment platform. And I, I was worried that that's how it would be perceived. And not long after... Governor Gretchen Whitmer and state health officials are confirming the first two cases of the coronavirus here in Michigan. And I also thought that was not a good time to announce a presidential campaign for multiple reasons. One is that I have to care for my district. Today, Amash is still advocating for the Libertarian Party, which he says has an opening because of what's become of the Democratic and Republican parties. A lot of times, third parties get blamed for being uh, extreme or radical. And, and I think that what you see is the two old parties right now are the extreme radical parties. And, and it's the third parties that are coming in more on ideas and, uh, and trying to change the dynamic. In part three of our interview, Amash tells us whether he thinks he'd, uh, uh, in part three rather, he's gonna share the conversation just prior to the Capitol attack that still haunts him. Also talks about a successor, Representative Peter Meyer. And finally, if he still has thoughts about running for elected office again in the future. That's tomorrow at six.